and uh, also uh, from uh, grains such as review. Then we did a um, thematic analysis by using Atlas TI tool uh, to code our uh, module documentation, and uh, we use existing misconfiguration types from literature review to uh, do this coding. Uh, the next step, uh, we extract misconfiguration types from 227 codes that we uh, found uh, in previous system, and then we report our taxonomy. This is the taxonomy that uh, we uh, achieved, and as you can see, this taxonomy focuses on two levels. The first level is parental level, and the another level is the configuration unit level or module level. I will uh, explain each of uh, the level. The first level is parameter level that can be categorized in illegal parameter and legal parameter. In illegal parameter, we consider uh, the violation of constraints on the parameter and the value of the parameter that can be categorized in illegal format, illegal value, and illegal existence. For illegal uh, format, we focus on the data type of each parameter uh, and we have basic value and semantic value data type. Basic value is clear, but for semantic value, uh, not only consider the data type of the parameter, but maybe there is a format in the data type. For example, uh, if you see a default host IP uh, parameter of Docker container module, and not only it should be a string, but also it needs to have a format of IP address. The second category is illegal value that considers the constraints on the value of each parameter. Uh, and uh, we have value rate, value set, uniqueness, and different dependency between the values of parameters. Uh, value rate and value set are clear, but for uniqueness, uh, we have some parameters that need to have unique values. For example, uh, for creating Chrome tab job, uh, the name of this parameter should be unique that make it easy for the user to track the status of uh, a job. And without uh, having this unique name, it's very difficult and makes some problems. Also, we have a different dependency that shows the relationship between a value of parameters. For example, in inclusion dependency, a, a, a parameter can get a specific value if the other parameter has a particular value. For example, in the, in the auto remove uh, parameter of Docker container can get the value of false if the container default behavior gets the value of compati compatibility. The third category of illegal parameter uh, concerns the, um, by, uh, the con um, constraints on the existence of parameter and it can be categorized in uh, three levels. Missing mandatory parameters, ineffective parameters, and parameter dependency violations. Uh, in Ansible module documentation, some module needs uh, mandatory parameters. Uh, Why the documentation indicates which parameter is required or which one is uh, optional, but we have detected two different type, uh, man, uh, type for mandatory parameters. One of them is mandatory XOR group, and the other one is conditional mandatory group. In mandatory XOR group, uh, it's possible that a module needs a true mandatory parameter, but we cannot use them together. For example, in XML module, needs a pass and also XML string uh, module as a mandatory parameter, but we cannot use with each other. The second category is ineffective parameters. That means that for a specific task, it's possible that uh, when using a parameter, uh, it's redundant and uh, unnecessary and make a, a negative uh, uh, effect on the, the, the task. And then the last category is parameter dependency violation that shows the dependency between the parameters that can be categorized in exclude dependency and include dependency that is more general than mandatory parameters. In include dependency, modules should be used with each other, and in exclude dependency should not be used together.
together. The second uh, subcategory of farm cannabinoid uh, uh, is legal parameter. It means that it's possible to use the legal value or legal parameter. By using this legal parameter and values can cause uh, uh, undesirable functionality and performance. For example, in uh, legal value, we detected two uh, different types, improper values and insecure values. In improper values, when using a legal value, it can cause undesirable behavior such as data corruption, violation of hidden potency, and also negative performance. And for insecure values, using the legal values cause uh, security as well and vulnerability. Uh, for example, leaving uh, a password empty or using weak uh, cryptographic algorithms. Uh, for example, in, if we use the default value of yes for the trust input parameter of PostgreSQL user module, it can cause ignoring the validation of uh, sensitive uh, parameter and it makes uh, uh, some problems. The last category of uh, this uh, parameter level is legal existence that focuses on the existence of um, parameter. Uh, in the Ansible module documentation, there are uh, different aliases for each parameter. But if in a playbook we use different aliases for a parameter, make a playbook unreadable and unreliable, uh, unreliable and it's better not to use uh, different aliases in a playbook. The last uh, type is improper alternative parameters. For example, in Ansible, uh, there are parameters that can do same things, but they, they have some limitations. For example, Upgrade uh, parameter of app module can upgrade uh, a package, but if you want to uh, upgrade a package to a specific version, it, it should use the essay parameter. For configuration unit level or module level, module level, uh, we found the two categories: module misuse and module dependency violation. For module misuse, uh, we detected two different subcategories, environment inconsistency and improper alternative module. Uh, for environment inconsistency, we have three different uh, types, OS incompatibility, missing component, and incompatible components. For OS incompatibility, we can say that a module can be, uh, cannot be used for a specific uh, operation system. For example, we cannot use copy for Windows and we should use Win uh, copy module. Uh, and for missing components is that, that some modules need some a specific component and without them uh, the task will fail. So uh, if uh, the module uh, does not provide the, the required com uh, component, uh, the, ta uh, the task will fail and we have a misconfiguration. For incompatible component, there is a situation that uh, the required component needs a, a specific version. For example, for Docker uh, container module, it needs the Docker API, but the version of the Docker API should be uh, equal or greater, greater than uh, 1.2. For improper alternative uh, module, uh, versus uh, generic modules and improper specific modules. In a specific versus generic modules, we can say there are some modules that can do the same things, uh, like shell, script, and comment that can be used for installing Python packages and also rebooting system. But also there is a specific module for doing this kind of task. For example, the, uh, the while the comment can be used for, for rebooting system, but it's recommended that you use reboot uh, module for a rebooting, not command. And in improper specific modules, also I mentioned before that the module can do same things, but in some limit, there is limitation for these specific modules. For example, uh, copy can use uh, to transfer uh, files to a remote host, but if there is a variable in the content field of the uh, file, uh, we should use the 
template module instead of uh, copy modules. And the last category is module dependency violation that uh, describes the dependency between module and can be categorized to, dif uh, to different types, control dependency and data uh, dependency. In control dependency, when we defining a task, uh, we should care that uh, a module should be run before or after another module. And for data dependency, is a situation that the output of a module is, uh, the, uh, is used as uh, the input of another module. For example, for get URL and archive module, get URL uh, download a file and then on archive module use this file to unpack and extract the files of downloaded file. Also, we developed a, a tool uh, to extract the misconfiguration types from an Ansible module documentation by using an NLP-based approach. And uh, uh, this uh, tool uh, has uh, four components. The first component uh, is called the rule extractor, uh, using NLP techniques to extract misconfiguration types from Ansible modules uh, documentation and uh, define a temporary rule. And this template rule is defined by a Ninja 2 template. Then this template rule is stored in template repository. And when it's necessary, we instantiate the rules. And this rule is injected in later to, to detect uh, this configuration in Ansible play. And uh, I should say that we implemented uh, this tool uh, for uh, semantic and also basic value types. Finally, uh, to be sure that our taxonomy is not limited to Ansible, we also did a comparative analysis across uh, widely used uh, IIC tools such as Puppet, uh, Bloomy, and Trafom, and we found that uh, our taxonomy can uh, cover 90% misconfiguration detected uh, documentation, and we can say uh, our taxonomy can be used as a comprehensive framework uh, for different range of uh, IAC platform. And uh, for the fusion group, first uh, we plan to extend our tool for the complete taxonomy, and also we want to do a swimming structure inter interviews with IAC developers uh, to get their feedback and uh, make our taxonomy more applicable for real, uh, real world scenarios. That's it. Thank you. So this concludes our today program, our agenda for today, and I wish you all a fantastic evening. If someone needs some advice, some of you are invited to direct us in how to get there, just come to me, I will explain it, and everyone else will see each other tomorrow at 10 again. So, thank you.